Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be talking about the certificate signing request, what is uh, the CSR and how do we generate a CSR using the FortiGate firewall. So if you like this video content, uh, please like and subscribe and let's get started. So what is the CSR, certificate signing request? So CSR is a block of encoded text, and that encoded text is uh, being encoded using base64. And uh, that text uh, will be uh, applied to the CA or be given to the CA uh, to get the by the requester to get the digital certificate. So if I'm a web server, I would create a CSR uh, and would be uh, a text encoded with base64. And uh, I will give it to the uh, CA to sign it. So the CA would give me a digital certificate. So what does this text include? What is this information in the uh, CSR? So uh, the CSR contain requester information. So me, the web server. So I would give information about my domain name, uh, which is the common name. I will give uh, my organization name, organization unit, the city I'm at, the region, the state, the country, also my email address and public key. Um, so public key of the web server. Now it also contained a digital signature. So you'd be wondering, wondering why there is a digital signature. Well, there is a reason for that. Now uh, you don't want someone to uh, create a bogus CSR on behalf of yourself. So you don't want someone else, uh, you know, creating the same information about a web server, pr pr pretending that it's uh, you and giving it to the CA. So how is the solution is by uh, to that, to prevent that, is to create a digital signature. So um, the CSR would be uh, hashed with the hash algorithm, and then it would be uh, encrypted using the private key of the requester. And then when it's sent to the CA, uh, the uh, hashing algorithm would be included and the public key would be also uh, included. Remember the private key is not going to be sent. The private key is only going to be used to encrypt this uh, hash. You know, so remember there will be a hash algorithm run against this CSR and then uh, a hash digest would be created and it's gonna, going to be encrypted by the uh, private key and sent. To the CA. Now the CA would need to know the algorithm and would need to know the public key. Well CSR already has the public key so uh, the CA would use the public key to decrypt this message and get the hash, di uh, hash digest and then it, it will run the hash against the uh, CSR, the hash algorithm, and then compare the hash digest. And if they're the same, so that means uh, this uh, CSR came from the original requester okay now CSR is in the PKCS 10 format uh, it's a standard format that the CSR would use now how would it how would it look the CSR uh, if you open it with a notepad file it will look like this begin certificate request and end certificate request okay so um, we'll go through the generating of the CSR using the FortiGate firewall and um, filling out all the information will show you how is that done. So this is the uh, FortiGate firewall. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a certificate signing request on the FortiGate, uh, like or using the FortiGate firewall. And this uh, certificate is going to be um, used for HTTPS. So let's go to system and certificate and then we're gonna generate CSR. We'll call the certificate name um, FortiGate HQ. So this is gonna be for the FortiGate, uh, FortiGate HTTPS certificate itself. Uh, you know, instead of the self-signed certificate that the FortiGate use. So, uh, FortiGate HQ, uh, I'm going to use a domain name. Let's just choose a random www. 
www.orgateshu.com or .org organization unit. So like I said, this is the information um, in the PowerPoint. Like I said, this is information that you provide uh, about your um, organization or about your certificate. So this is going to be IT, CyberSec organization, city, country, email, subject alternative name is a field used in the certificate and that field uh, is to include uh, multiple, uh, if in case you want to include multiple domain names in your certificate or multiple IP addresses in your certificate, you can use subject alternative name, okay? Because um, it could be um, a certificate that is shared among multiple websites or it could be a, do a website, one website that has multiple domains, domain names. I'm not going to use that for now. This is a password to use for private key. Uh, if in case you're uh, grabbing the private key, of, uh, like if, if in case you wanted to have the private key and the public key from this certificate, uh, you could use a password for private key. RSA, this is the type of key that's going to be used and key size. This is a standard 2048 bits. Uh, enrollment method, file based and online. File based is uh, if you want to download, so I'm going to generate the CSR. So this is the signing request. How is it going to be done? Either I grab the file from here, I grab the uh, CSR generated and downloaded from the FortiGate and then give it to a CA and then the CA would sign it. Or I could use an online um, SCEP. Um, so you would use um, IP address and port and password uh, to sign the certificate. So as soon as you generate the certificate, you could provide the URL of the CA and the password, and then the certificate is going to be signed by the CA. Okay, I'm going to use a file-based method. Um, I'll do okay. So now this is the certificate that we generated, the CSR, Certificate Signing Request. It's pending because it have not been signed yet. Uh, when the certificate would be signed and everything, uh, it would be uh, valid. But this is just a CSR. So we could download this certificate. So let's download it on desktop. And then I'm going to open the certificate with a notepad. So this is the CSR and what I can do, I can show the content, like, you know, decode these uh, content. Uh, so I'll copy this, and then I'll go to a website called uh, SSL Shopper. I'm going to paste this content in here. And here you go. Here's information about the CSR, fortigatehu.org, cybersec. This is the information that I have entered. Okay. So now if I go back to the FortiGate, if I want to grab the private key from the FortiGate, I could do that. I can go to Conflict VPN Certificate Local and then edit the certificate. And if I do show full. So this is the private key. So this is the public key or the CSR. This is a private key. And it says, sorry, this is certificate. This is beginning certificate and certificate. This is the CSR. And the private key, if I want to grab it, I could just copy it from here. And It would be encrypted private key until this. Should be an end to that. 
until this end in here. And I could paste it in node file and it doesn't have a password because we didn't create a password and I can just use that private key if I want. So for example, if I'm creating a certificate for a web server, uh, in my case right now, I'm not gonna need that because this certificate is gonna be specifically for 40 gate HTTPS. But if there is a web server, for example, and I'm creating the certificate for, I need to upload the private key and the public key to the web server. Okay, but in my case now, I'm not gonna need to do that. So this is how you grab the private key. Okay, so um, this is how you generate a CSR on the 40 gate. Now the next thing to do is to sign this certificate by a CA, which I'm gonna be explaining in another video. So thanks for watching guys this video. If you like this content and you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. See you later.